Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. Today's video is going to be an organization marathon. So this video is my top five organization videos from 2022 cut down to be all in this one over 30 minute video. So a lot of organization ideas packed into today's video. If you are doing any decluttering and organizing in the new year, hopefully this video gives you some motivation and inspiration. Most of the organization products in today's video are from Amazon, so I am doing a giveaway and giving away a $50 Amazon gift card to one of you so that you can use it to order some organization products for your home. So if you wanna enter the giveaway, the details of how to enter will be typed up here on the screen. And now I hope you enjoy my final video in 2022. Okay, so we are going to start off the video back at the beginning of this year when I organized this closet in our laundry room. This closet was such a mess. It had just kind of been the catch-all during our home renovations those last two years. We had nicknamed this closet the renovation closet because we would just stuff all of the random things in here from screwdrivers to paintbrushes, doorknobs. You could pretty much find any random thing like that in this closet. But at this point, our home renovation was pretty much over, so it was time to clean out and declutter this closet and I wanted to transform it into a cleaning closet and just utilize the space in here a little bit better. So I started off by clearing each of the shelves, starting with the top shelf and working my way down. That peel and stick paper was from Dollar General, but you can usually find that anywhere, Dollar Tree, Target, Walmart, any place like that will carry peel and stick paper that you can put on your shelves or in your kitchen drawers and cabinets. And then those clear plastic containers, those were from Amazon. All of these baskets I already had on hand. This big white one on the top shelf is from Hobby Lobby. I got that either last spring or the spring before. They always bring out these big organizational containers with their spring items. They have them in all different colors. And then the big baskets on the bottom that I put down there on the floor, those are from Lowe's. And just to explain quickly, the door is off the bathroom because the shower was getting replaced. And then Jalen took the door off of this closet for me while I was organizing stuff in here just to make it a little bit easier. Next, I'm going to organize these two kitchen cabinets. The one on the left was my baking cabinet where I kept all of my spices, baking items, and then the cabinet on the right over here just became this place where we stored random things like charging cords, iPads, notebooks, different things like that. So I wanted to clear everything out of this cabinet, go through it all, see if there was anything I could get rid of, and then move my baking items over to this larger cabinet. I'm 
I'm checking all of the expiration dates on all of my seasonings and spices to see if there's anything that's expired that needs to be thrown away and then I'm going to wash this spice rack here. I got this over uh, probably about two years ago on Amazon. It's a great spice rack, good quality, but when you have all of your seasonings lined up on there, you can't see the ones that are in the back. So I figured I'd try something a little bit different. I ordered a new organizer off of Amazon. It comes with all the glass bottles and the labels. I've always wanted to try a set like that. So I'm excited to get it unboxed and put all of my seasonings and spice is in it here in a little bit. Okay, now on to the second organization video. In this video, I completely decluttered and reorganized this closet. As you can see, it was a complete disaster. I had been wanting to do this for a while. This closet was just so stacked full of stuff and desperately needed to be decluttered and organized. So I'm going to clear everything out of this closet and get started. This was such a huge transformation. So stay tuned here in a couple minutes to see the after and see how all of this is organized. So like I said, I'm just completely clearing out this closet, stacking everything on the floor out here so I can go through it, see what I wanna keep and everything that I'm going to keep, I'll categorize here on the floor just to make it easier when I start organizing everything back in the closet. Sometimes when I'm organizing closets, I will just work shelf by shelf so I don't get so overwhelmed. This was a lot of stuff to go through and I wish I could have worked shelf by shelf, but it just wouldn't have worked this time for this closet. So I just took everything out. That way I could just go through it all. And it was such a huge job. This took all day long. I started first thing in the morning and I didn't finish this project until about 7.30 that night. So just in between taking care of the baby and different things around the house, this definitely was an all day project. Those blanket bags were from Amazon. I got a set of three and they are just such a game changer for storing comforters, blankets, sheets. Before I just had all of those things stacked up on the top shelf and it was so unorganized. It's so much nicer to just have everything in these three sealed bags. I also got another set of those acrylic containers off of Amazon. I love them so much in my cleaning closet that I got a second set to use here in this closet. I wasn't filling these up with items just quite yet. I just wanted to get them unpackaged, figure out which shelf I was putting them on, and then I just continued on clearing off the shelves and then I would dust the shelves after they were cleared off before I started filling them back up with items. Here are some more organizational containers that I got for this closet. These ones are from Walmart and Walmart is getting quite a few more organizational items. Every time I'm in there, it seems that they have something new. So they do have quite a good selection of organizational products. You can usually always find these drawer organizers there. I got this three drawer organizer and then the two drawer organizer just 
for all of the craft items. So glue, tape, sticky notes, markers, everything like that. And I organized this closet, I think it was in March of this year. So here in a couple of months, it will have been a whole year since I organized this closet. And everything has stayed organized. I would highly recommend using little drawers like this for all of these school and craft items because it's worked out so well and has just been such a great system for all these little items. It's easy for the boys to put everything back where it goes because I did also label all the drawers. And yeah, I would really recommend just getting some little drawers like this to put on the shelf in your closet for craft and school items. I'm using my little Cricut Joy to make all of these labels for everything. I love to make labels for things when I'm organizing, as you'll see in this video. Definitely takes a lot of extra time, but it's really fun to me, and I just love the finished look that it gives. I decided to store all of our extra bathroom items in those two large plastic bins that I got from Walmart. We don't have closets in any of our bathrooms for storing extra items or even towels, so everything gets stored in the vanity, so there's not a whole lot of extra space to store these extra bathroom items, so I'm just going to store them in the hall closet. I want to try and work at building up a little bit of a better supply of those everyday items just so that we have at least two extra of everything just nice to have that little extra supply on hand and you'll see when I show the finished closet but there's a little bit of extra space in there so I do have room for storing more items. Here is everything that was trash out of that closet and then I also decluttered quite a few items as well so it felt really good to be getting rid of all of that and now I'm just continuing to work on labels and here soon you'll get to see the finished closet. Just working at finishing up all of the labels for the containers and the baskets like I said earlier this is a lot of work and does take a while but it's worth it to me just because I love how it looks it's just like the icing on the cake for the organized space so I had these little cardboard tags on hand I thought they'd be perfect to hang with a string on the baskets and then I just printed off a label on the Cricut to put on those
Okay, so now on to the third organizational video. In this video, I'm going to be working on kitchen organization, starting off with organizing underneath my sink. This cabinet really needed to be cleaned and organized, and I just wanted to utilize the space a little bit better. So I'll be adding some peel and stick paper to the bottom of this cabinet first, and then some organizational containers from Amazon and Walmart. I love how this cabinet turned out, and this system has has worked so well this year it stayed organized and I'm still loving all of these organizational products that I added Okay, so now this cabinet is complete and we are going to head over to the pantry and work at getting that organized. So as you can see, this pantry needs some reorganizing and it's also pretty empty. So I'm going to be restocking it cleaning and reorganizing this pantry and you can tell I'm a mom of little boys I found this little basketball in the corner of the pantry so I've got all of my groceries here in the dining room I'm getting all of them unbagged and put on the table also in that pantry it is missing a few of the organizational baskets and containers that I had in there originally just because over the last few months I've been working at reorganizing some closets throughout my home so I have taken a few of those baskets and things from the pantry and use them in other spaces of my home so I did get a few more organizational baskets and items to add to the pantry today. turntables came in a two pack off of Amazon and they were the cheapest 12 inch turntables that I could find but they're still really good quality they have good reviews and so far I've been loving them I think I'm going to be ordering two more sets and then I also got a second can organizer I already have one of these can organizers in my pantry from Amazon but I wanted to add a second one because one just doesn't quite fit all of the cans when I have the pantry fully stocked so a second one is just perfect it can fit all of the cans that I want to store in there and then these two acrylic containers are from Walmart I already have three of these in the smaller size really love them they seal up well and they're really good quality for such an affordable price so I got two more of those and then also from Walmart I got four of these bins that look like a basket material and they were only four dollars a piece they're still really good quality and I was going to add just regular baskets to the shelves like I had before but those can be pretty pricey and also they just didn't work out so great for storing food in they do scratch the bottom of the pantry shelves and so I just thought some nice soft flexible bins like this will be a lot easier for storing food in and I can still have that basket look in the pantry because these do have that basket material so if you want the look of baskets in your pantry but you don't want to spend the money on them or like I said they're just not as practical for storing food in then check out these bins at Walmart like I said they're only four dollars such a great price This stackable can organizer, like I said, is from Amazon, the one that I already have in my pantry. I've had that for about two and a half years now, I would say. Really love it. It comes in a couple of different finishes 
chrome, bronze, silver, and then also white. It's from the Simple Houseware brand on Amazon. There is 47,000 almost five star reviews, so you know it's a great product. It makes it so much easier to keep my canned goods organized instead of just stacking them on the shelf like I used to, and then you can't see everything that you have. These are just really awesome. These large glass jars have worked great over the years for storing sugar, flour, and oats. And I'm just continuing to work my way through the pantry, trying to work in sections. I would wipe down the shelves after removing the items and then also trying to wipe off the containers. If I didn't wash them, then just wipe off the outside of them before putting them back onto the shelf. I'm going to start working at making new labels for all of the plastic containers. I had had chalkboard labels on most of those containers, but I don't have the best handwriting, so I decided I'm just going to make some labels with my Cricut. They just look so amazing and are just like the perfect finishing touch to an organized space. I'll link my Cricut in the description box and I'll also type up beside it which font I used for all of these containers today. It's the same font that I've been using for the hall closet, the cleaning closet, and I know when you're labeling things it's usually pretty obvious, like obviously that's a container of rice and pasta and chocolate chips, but once it's empty then you know what goes in what container and it also just looks awesome. It makes an organized space just look even better. These containers are so nice to have for storing your cereal and granola, especially if you have kids. It's so much easier for them to pour their cereal and is so much nicer than dealing with boxes with the plastic bags inside that will rip and everything. And then I'm going to add the turntables to the corners of this shelf up here. Added some beef broth on the one turntable and then chicken broth on the other turntable. It might vary what I keep on these, but for now I've just got the broth on both of those. Now 
now I'm working at just filling up the rest of those containers. I've got the spaghetti in these two containers. These also came as a set on Amazon and then they also came with some smaller ones as well, which I'll be putting snacks in. I didn't label all of the little snack containers just because it'll vary what I keep in these and it was also the end of the day and I just didn't feel like making, let's see, it would have been like five or six more labels just for these little snack containers. So I was like, you know what? There's enough labels in the pantry. I just need to get this done. It's already the end of the day. So I just poured the snacks in there, put them in the pantry. And like I said, it will vary what I keep in these over time. Okay, so the pantry is complete. It's looking much better. Always such a good feeling to have a clean and restocked, organized pantry. Okay, so now on to the fourth organization video. In this organization video, I was working at doing some organizing in the dining room, and here I'm going to show you how I organized this cabinet where we keep all of the boys' homeschooling and coloring items. So I cleared off these shelves, dusted them down, and now I'm just going to go through everything before getting it organized back onto the shelves. These two organizational containers I bought at Hobby Lobby this past spring. Every spring when they bring out their spring shop items, they always have an entire aisle of these organization containers in a bunch of different sizes and so many different colors. So definitely check for those next spring. They are really good quality. This label maker I bought from Amazon a couple of years ago. I'll put a link for it down below because it's a really awesome label maker and it's really fun to use just to make some little labels for different areas in your house. I made two little labels for the tops of these pencil boxes. And then I did also label each of the shelves in the cabinet just so that it's easier for the boys to keep things organized when they clean off the table after school or after they're done coloring, they can see where all of the books go on the shelves. second cabinet we keep all of our games. I've got two more of those little Hobby Lobby containers for all of the card games and these two cabinets were actually from Ikea and we just put them together, mounted them here on the wall and they make a great floating sideboard. We stained them this black color and then also did the brown stain color on the front with some large handles. Really love how this turned out and it's just great to have this storage here in the dining room because this is where we play games and we homeschool the boys color. Okay, so now we are to the fifth and final video. In this video, I was back in the kitchen working at some kitchen organization, and here I am starting off by cleaning out, organizing, and restocking the fridge. First, I had cleaned everything out of the fridge, wiped down the shelves. The fridge was pretty empty and was in desperate need of being restocked, so that made it a little bit easier to clean out. So now I'm getting all of these new organizers from Amazon washed and ready to go, and this acrylic turntable I've had for several years. I've used it in a lot of different spaces in my home, in my kitchen cabinets, in my pantry, but now I decided to use it in my fridge. So I'm getting that washed as well as all of these containers, and then I'll start filling them up and organizing them into the fridge.
So these containers from Amazon, the four smaller ones came in a four pack and then the two larger ones came in a two pack, but they did give you several options. You could get them in a two, four, six. I'm not sure if they did have an eight pack option, but they might have. I will put the links for them down below. They were a great price. I tried to do quite a bit of research on Amazon for fridge organization and tried to find containers that were a good price and also good quality and had good reviews. And then I'm just stacking up all of the fruit in the fruit drawer and the veggie drawer. I did get quite a few limes, but I'll be using these up for recipes like taco soup, tacos, different things like that. And then also these are really good to slice up and put in your water. The goal of today's video is to hopefully get you inspired and motivated if you have spaces in your home that you want to clean, declutter, and organize. The fridge is probably one of the hardest spaces to keep somewhat organized in a home because it's constantly getting used throughout the day and there's leftovers that need to go in the fridge, prepped lunches, meat that needs to thaw. A fridge is just something that can't stay perfectly organized all the time. And my fridge probably isn't going to look this perfect all of the time, but I'm hoping that we can continue to keep it somewhat organized because that will just help food not to go to waste that gets lost in the refrigerator refrigerator and it also helps us to grab healthier snack options. Having all of these berries prepped, ready to grab and eat, veggies, the cheese, all of these healthier options conveniently available has been so nice. And I also wanted to add that having the strawberries in an open container didn't work too well. They did start to get wrinkly quicker. We did go through these really quickly. These are everyone's favorite snacks is fresh strawberries, but still um, I'm going to have to get something that has a lid to store them in in the future. fridge is complete and now I'm going to work at doing some more organizing in my baking cabinet. I had more spices that I wanted to add to my spice rack and then also just a few more little containers that I had on hand that I wanted to use up on the second shelf. We'll be adding some more labels and just organizing this cabinet a little bit better. For seasonings and spices that I know I'm not going to use up very quickly, I just put the date on the bottom of the glass jar using a piece of this brown tape and then a sharpie. These little containers were from the pantry. I used to use them for snacks. I got them off of Amazon last year, but they were just so small and they wouldn't fit that many snacks and it was easier to just throw the snacks into the snack baskets that I have in the pantry. So I decided to use these here in my baking cabinet to put like the cocoa powder, the baking soda, different things like that. And then also our popcorn kernels. We really enjoy making homemade popcorn on the stove. You just put some olive oil in the bottom of a big pan. You add in your popcorn kernels, cover them with the olive oil, put the lid on until they are popped, and then you'll just add your pink Himalayan salt is what we like to add on top, and it is so delicious. Our favorite way to make popcorn.
So then I just ended the video by restocking the pantry with the food that I gotten from Costco and then also restocking and doing a bit of cleaning in my cleaning closet. hope that you enjoyed today's video this organization marathon of my top five organization videos from 2022 combined into this over 30 minute video to give you hopefully lots of organization motivation inspiration and ideas if you are doing some organization here in the new year Thank you all so much for watching and thank you for all of your support here on my channel in 2022. Can't wait for all of the new videos that I have planned for 2023. Stay tuned and thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you soon with a new video in the new year. Bye.